That's right, y'all. Y'all excited? Y'all ready to start this one in the woods? Yeah, we a little getting a little wooded today. Uh, doing a follow-up request for you, Wendley Well Services here. Uh, had a couple people asking about our uh, diverter system that we use, so I'm gonna walk that over here and show it to you. Lock the machines off. So, not a whole lot to it. Um, it's run off by air. You can see we got a regulator run here uh, from our drill rig to get it air. And then this line goes back to it. Um, this is the uh, control cabinet that comes with it. Incoming air comes in here. Outcoming air goes here. That air line runs back to the diverter up under the rig. You got this little lever here. You push it that way, it uh, sucks a vacuum down about 20 inches of uh, mercury and pulls the diverter up. Or no, this way pushes the, the diverter down. You're putting pressure on it. When you pull back on the lever, uh, that lets air out of it and pulls it up. And then here's the actual diverter itself. So there's the air line that's coming from the control cabinet to it. Um, I know they do make a diverter system that you can't adjust uh, that's mounted in place um, but you can see we have these little pins here and these uh, adjustment uh, heights uh, where we can adjust it to all kind of different heights wherever we need to uh, as you can see we use this to our advantage um, this job site here is pretty tight we're wooded back behind us and going uphill and um, so we're you know got the diverter wrapped all the way up under the machine so we can get the rock cuttings away from it um and then obviously this these rubbers are uh dependent on your uh rod size uh, our rods are four inch they make them for four and a half inch three and a half inch uh sure they make them even better and then probably what a lot of you are wanting to know this opening size here this is a 12 inch opening um, so anything bigger than 12 inch and got to go to a different option so um, yes pretty much it it's worth every penny we pay um, this diverter here actually came off our old rig um, these bottom rubbers do wear out uh, they're probably three or four thousand dollars just to replace the um, rubber part itself but these have been on here a pretty good little while. Uh, I've been on here about three years. Um, pretty good little setup, if you ask me. It saves a lot of heartache. So let's go try to find this guy some water. It's on a Friday. I want to quit well. It's been a long week. Uh, wanted to do a quick video for y'all. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned.